Hello everyone and welcome to episode number seven. Today I'm going to bring you along as I cut out little pieces that I'm appliquing my pictures to. We're still using the June Taylor's uh, color fast sheets for inkjet printers and these pictures have been supplied to me by my client. We had to reduce the size of the pictures so that they all would fit and so today I'm going to be appliquing these pictures for the right side border. And I thought I'd show you how quickly I cut out the pieces out of extra t-shirt material from the backs and bottoms of shirts uh, that have been included in her quilt. So I've already uh, applied the stabilizer. I'm using the Pellon P44F uh, apparel interfacing on the back. It reduces the stretch. This is not stretchy and a lot easier to work with sewing into the quilt. So I've already applied that and I'm going to bring you along as I cut out all of my pieces that we are using today. And then I think I'll bring you along as we apply the pictures to the squares. I'll show you how I do that. And then I'll bring you along as we do the satin stitch around some of the pictures so you get a better idea of how that is done as well. So I think that's what is in store for today because Today I'm going to go ahead and prep all of my pieces for the right border and for the left border because that's all that we have left to do on this quilt. In a yesterday's video, we pieced together this purple section, the left border, and I have this left to do and this left to do. Because today is going to be a little bit of a shorter day for me, I thought I'd go ahead and do all of this prep work. So what you see today is all this stuff that has to be done before I can actually even sew them together. And in case you've wondered how to do this part, uh, maybe this will answer some questions. And I enjoy hanging out with you and spending some time today together with you. So let's go ahead and get started cutting out some squares. We're at the cutting mat now. You can see I have all of these extra bits of t-shirts. And we're going to cut some four by four or four and a half by four and a half inch squares to put these pictures onto. What I love about t-shirt quilts is that you can utilize all of the extra bits of the t-shirt to incorporate into your quilt. I've already fused the interfacing on and I'm ready to cut, start cutting out all of my strips. The first thing I like to do is cut out a longer strip that's four and a half inches wide. I usually double up and cut two at a time. And then from those strips, you can turn them around and cut out your squares at four and a half inches wide again. Just like that. So I'll go through and cut these out. And doing it this way, you can go through a whole stack of shirts pretty quickly. And this is how our pictures are going to appear on our blocks. Now I'm cutting lots of extras, so I have some different colors to choose from. And these little four and a half by four and a half inch squares will be used in the right border and the bottom border. And I don't want to have to cut out any more, so I'm going to go ahead and cut several of these blocks. I'm going to have a lot left over, but that's okay. I'd rather cut some extra now and not have to go and do this all over again. This time I'm going to cut out four strips that are four and a half inches wide. And then we'll line the four strips up on my mat and the cutting goes by even faster this way. Just like this. And now we can cut four strips into our four and a half inch blocks pretty quickly. I will finish cutting and we'll see you in just a minute.
today I'm going to be doing raw edge applique with my photos and I'm going to be using the Elmer's glue all to attach my photos to the t-shirt blocks. So this is just like raw edge applique. You could of course use heat and bond light on the back side of your photos but I really love the Elmer's glue because it is not stiff and really holds the picture in place while I'm doing all of the stitching. And once the quilt is washed, all of the glue comes out and the quilt is very soft and supple in the end. So I'm just going to go through and apply a little bit of glue around the edges of my photo, staying away from the very edge so that the glue doesn't squish out <laughs> from underneath the photo. And I'm going to glue all of these photos right into place. Just applying light pressure when placing the photo down. So we will glue all of these together. Just like this. I like to also add a couple of little dots in the center of the photo. Just really helps keep the photo fabric in place as we're working with each one of the blocks. And once your photos are on your fabric square, you can go ahead and heat set and dry the glue. I'm using the highest cotton setting on my iron and I am using steam to quickly dry that glue. The heat and the steam will not affect the photos. And just like that, they're dry and ready to be stitched down and we can finish up the rest of these together. I do like to cover my photos when I iron them with just an extra piece of fabric. This part of the process does go by pretty quick and all the glue is dry so that when I go to the sewing machine I don't have to worry about the wet glue messing up my needle or my machine. And we will finish gluing this last one and we will heat set the glue and then we're going to move over to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how I attach the photo permanently with a satin stitch. Now comes the fun part where we are finally at the sewing machine. I have my iced coffee and I'm ready to spend some quality time stitching down these photos. You'll notice I have a piece of lightweight tearaway stabilizer underneath of my t-shirt square and that's going to help keep my stitches nice and flat. I'm going to bring the needle in right next to the edge of the photo and we're going to start stitching. Now I'm using a satin stitch on my sewing machine. You could use a zigzag stitch, but I'm going over the complete raw edge of this photo. And this will prevent your photo from fraying in the wash or during use. I come down to the corner, I rotate diagonal and take a stitch, and then I'm coming down the other side. Just like this. I love how the stabilizer keeps my block nice and flat. Approaching the corner again, I will stop with the needle right next to the photo and the background fabric. Rotate diagonally, take one stitch, and then rotate again. And that gives you a lot of support in the corner, and it gives your corner a nice, crisp, Point. Working down to this next corner, we're going to repeat the same pr process. 
as we rotate the photo. I'm going to clip the little tiny string right where we began so I don't forget to do that. Coming along the top side of the photo now. All the way down into this corner. And now we will stitch a little bit beyond where we started to lock the starting stitches in place. And then I will back stitch a couple of stitches and remove it from the sewn machine. So there is our photo permanently sewn onto our t-shirt square. And now we need to remove the tearaway stabilizer. Now that all of our photos have been permanently stitched down onto our t-shirt squares, we're ready to go ahead and tear away this stabilizer. I'm going to just take a sharp edge and score the center part, and then I can gently remove all of the extra stabilizer from the center of my block. I know this seems like a lot of stabilizer will be wasted, however, the quality of the stitch that you get when using a stabilizer like this is far superior and so um, it's definitely worth using some kind of stabilizer on the back. You could use foam book pages or coffee filters. I'll put a link to the tearaway stabilizer that I like the most in the description box and that's what I'm using today. So just like this, we just tear away all of that stabilizer and now I have the rest of all those photos to go through and do. And once I've done that, we'll meet back and finish up today's video. Here we are at the end of my work day. So all of the pictures in this entire quilt, these are the ones we have left. The, this is going to be the right border and this is going to be the bottom border. So all these pictures, all the prep work has been done uh, just like I showed you in today's video. So I have a stack of 4x4 four four pictures and those are ready to be sewn in. And then I have some 4x6 pictures that are ready to be sewn in. And then I have a 4x6 that is just the photo paper that's going to be sewn into the quilt. And then I have some 8x4 photos. And these are just the photo paper uh, fabric that is going to be sewn into the right side of the quilt. And then this bottom border, all the pictures, we have 4x4s six by fours and then eight by fours just like that so all of this work is done this pretty much took up most of my day between preparing the shirt material cutting out the pictures applicating the pictures and figuring out the layout for my quilt so let me grab that real quick Okay, here's my layout. So the right side border, you can see all of these little pieces. I actually uh, figured out that I could fit some smaller pictures in here. So that is going to be the right side. You can see all those little dots. Those are the pictures. So I'll reference this when I go to assemble all the pieces. And then this bottom portion will be the layout for all of those blocks as well. So tomorrow is Thursday. I still have, let's see, 11 shirts to cut for this bottom and nine shirts to cut for the right side border. So I'll probably bring you along tomorrow for stabilizing and cutting out those t-shirt logos. And then I'm going to assemble this border and this border and attach this one and then this one and then this one this one is already attached to the left side of the quilt 
And then that should be it for constructing this quilt. Friday, I would like to get everything on the long arm and quilt this quilt and this weekend, wrap everything up with the binding and then we'll be done. Next week I start a new quilt. <laughs> so I've enjoyed spending time with you. If you have any questions, you can jump down to the comment section below. And let's see, I'm also going to put the playlist for this whole series in case this is the first video you're tuning in and you want to see more. That will be in the description box. And I'm also going to include a link to the Creative Crew group, which is a Facebook group where we not only share quilts, but we share uh, embroidery and painting and all kinds of stuff, creative stuff. And if you ever have questions and it need help pretty quickly, uh, there's a lot of talented people over there who would uh, love to help. All right. I have the AC on today. And uh, so that's the first time the AC has been turned on. I tried to hold out as long as I could, but it's going to be about 90 today. Yesterday was pretty brutal in the mid-80s, and it was even hotter in here. And uh, iced coffee. All right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow as we finish up this quilt. Have a great day.